In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to run the play Mesh out of Bunch Titan. This play is really effective for beating man and zone. We're going to show you how to use it to its fullest potential in this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button. We do videos every single day to just help people get better at Madden 23. And if you're looking to get a little bit more in-depth look at how to become a better Madden player, make sure you check out our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and it gets you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as several exclusive tips that we don't publicly share here on the YouTube channel. So if you want to check that out, it's a great way to support me as a small creator. I think it's also a great way to improve your Madden game, and it's only $10. So if you want to sign up for that, head down to the description below. You can click the link down below to go check that out. The play we're talking about today is Mesh. You can find this play in the Run Heavy playbook, which is a great playbook if you're running Bunch Tight End. It's the playbook that I use in my Bunch Tight End offensive ebook. We have a full ebook on Bunch Tight End, by the way, if you want to check that out again, it's in the Patreon. Um, but you can also use this in Detroit. And Detroit is a great playbook because it merges together a lot of the best formations in the game. And so let's get into it. Bunch Tight End, the play that we're going to be taking a look at is the play Mesh. And this is a really good concept to beat zone. Um, and it's also really good against man. So the setup, what, how do we set this play up? Very simple. We are going to streak the inside bunch receiver. Okay, we're going to streak the inside bunch receiver. And then we're going to slant this outside or this uh, slot receiver. And we're going to motion this guy to the outside. Now I'm going to show you something kind of glitchy with that in just a second. But for right now, if they are in a zone coverage, it is going to be very difficult for them to defend this corner route to the left side. We have a high-low between our tight end and our corner route. So you'll see right here again, very simple setup. And then what you'll see is this tight end dragging across. It's going to be a late check down in case they're not playing hard flats. So if they're playing curl flats, quarter flats, if anything other than hard flats, that tight end's open. And then if they are playing hard flats, it will make this corner route even more open than it already is going to be. So you'll see here, here's hard flats, and you see how good of separation uh, this corner route is going to provide for you against any zone coverage in the game. Now, um, the other coverage that I want to cover is cover two. With this motion right here to Mike Evans, um, it can actually make the cover two a little bit interesting, but what you should see here is this corner route is going to get over the top of the cover two, just like that. Now, if they are playing a double Mabel, which is flats at 30 and curl flats at 5, right, generally, this is not going to be open to the corner route, but there are going to be other things open, most notably this route that I'm about to show you to the slant. So I'm going to kind of illustrate what this defense would look like. It would basically look something like, uh, something like this, okay? So as you can see, double Mabel, they're going to have to use with the tight end uh, because the tight end is going to be open at the, at the line of scrimmage. They're going to probably carry the tight end across. By then, it's going to be the slant you'll see will come open right here. That's why we keep this running back route. The running back swing route is really good for pulling zones. If you wanted to wheel the running back, you could. Um, that's fine as well, but I just find this running back in the flat to be very good at pulling these zones out. And then it leaves that little angle right there uh, to hit the slant against zone. Now, what about man coverage, you might be asking. Glad you asked. So man coverage, watch this right here. You're going to see we're going to get a mismatch um, with Mike Evans whenever we motion him out. As you see right here, we get this little mismatch. So now the linebacker is on Mike Evans. This means we're going to have this nice little inside leverage on the slant that's kind of unique to bunch tight end with this motion. It's very difficult to find this motion out of other formations. Bunch tight end is really uh, effective for this. Now you'll see here, let's say they audible to man after you motion out. You'll see right here that again, he's now going to get off coverage. It just frees the slant up a lot. Um, and bunch tight end in general gives man to man some trouble because of how the formation is going to align. Let me jump into 3-3 three, three Cub, and you'll see this is a pretty good man coverage. Um, but what you'll see is when we motion, you see how everything just kind of tweaks and kind of messes up. Now you also are going to get outside leverage to your corner route. So you'll see here, my corner route is going to get outside leverage. I want to highball that up and out, and he'll get that little aggressive catch a lot. Now, 
generally speaking, if you have short in elite on that player, he's going to be a little bit better at beating man to man than Godwin is, even though Godwin does have uh, slot matic But really, if it's man coverage, your mesh is really what you're looking at. And then if you can hit this corner route because he has so much outside leverage, you'll also see, I'll show you, you see here Mike Evans because of the leverage, a lot of times he'll be open over the top as well. So you'll see right here, um, if they're in any kind of press man and they don't have safety help over the top with this, because of how, you see how they move in like that, it gives him automatic outside leverage on this fade. And so if you just highball this up and out, He's going to catch that as long as they don't have deep route KO. And another thing you can also do is you can freeform as you throw this and it will make it really, really difficult for them to ever intercept it. Almost impossible to be intercepted. And then it's really hard to stop as well. So again, I'm just going to hold left trigger and L1 and then I'm going to pass lead up and out. And you're going to see this is going to glitch man coverage a lot. Um, it's going to be very hard to play cover zero against this. Uh, you're going to be able to get separation over the top really well. So now what they're going to have to be is they're in a position, you know, where they're going to have to play two high safeties, at least one high safety to help with this deep this deep route to uh, Evans, which is then going to, again, give a natural shade inside to this corner where if this corner is uh, was short and elite, it's going to get separation. Now, another thing you could do if you have high route master is put the high route master corner out there. But really, I just think it's fine. If you use this one, it's going to be fine for you for the most part. And again, you have the slant. You have the drag. You have a lot of other stuff on this play. If he doesn't, for whatever reason, get separation, it can be a little inconsistent. But you saw right there, he got a ton of separation. So it can be a little inconsistent for the, from a corner route perspective. But every corner route in this game... I think is a little bit inconsistent. So this corner out for the most part is going to win. There you saw him get a ton of separation. I just got screamed at by send four out of three three cut or three three normal. Um, you know because this game is awesome. But anyway, the corner out uh, is really good against uh, man and zone against match. The corner out will be open as well because you motioned that guy out, and then you'll see see how he gets that separation late in the route, and then you see. We're able to get over the top. So this play's really good against man and zone. It's one of my favorite plays uh, in the game. Let me show you one last thing. Let me jump into dollars. I just want to show you something that's kind of interesting. So let's say they're in dollar. Um, you don't, I don't actually, you're starting to see more of dollar just because Dez used it to win the MCS. But let's say it's baseline dollar. And my defense is going to be stupid. Of course it is. So we'll show you it. So if it's baseline dollar and they press, right? It's gonna look something like this. See how nobody's guarding Mike Evans? Well, he's motioned out on a streak. And now you're gonna see here. So let's say that they're guarding, you know, they man up the linebacker onto Mike Evans, so to speak, right? So he's motioned out, they switch, they swap. It gives you a lot of leverage with this quick slant right over the middle. So you have, if we can make an accurate throw, you have the slant uh, wide open. So again here, we'll just show you. It's a little bit of a, a deal, but it's it's, man, it's just for baseline. It's just something interesting. So because you have so much leverage with the formation, nobody will cover the slant. So you can kind of build around that a little bit. We teach you a little bit more of how to use that in the bunch tight end ebook. But this concept is really good against man and zone coverage. And it provides you with a play that gives you a different player on a strength than they'd probably be expecting and allows you to run your bunch to the wide side. So there's a lot of versatility within the play mesh. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about the bunch tight end, make sure you're in the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a Patreon member. Get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks, as well as the updates to that. So if you want to sign up for that, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.